in not to no, that wasn't the time. So I'm going to, Brian's going to help me out now and film this, and I'm going to call that a block of the week. So um, I'm going to do a poem called Tommy, and it's about homelessness and people, and how we never can be quite sure. All um, buried into society, you know, and it just shows that everyone is one thing away from anything, you know, be it breaking the law, being being homeless, anything. And um, I was on a train the other day and saw a guy in, uh, to write a poem. So, in typical good form, I am not organised. But um, at this point, I think you expect that from me. So, um, it's called Tommy. He gets on the train, takes a seat. His face is a portrait of glass trials and his heat. You worry that it's senior and he's staring at your feet. But you speculate, homeless most probably, drugs, definitely cocaine. And before you know it, you've decided his whole life and you don't even know his name. His name is Tommy, and Tommy was a schoolboy. He got gold stars and good grades. Age 12, he actually invented a new type of toy. At parents' evening, teachers told foster parents, against all the odds, he is achieving. Very clever indeed, but you could help him with the reading. Tommy was a schoolboy, like many you see, a collection of potential hopes and dreams. And whilst things may go wrong, people can be far from what they seem. Today, Tommy is a man. A person like anyone else, sitting in a booth before because three of his friends didn't make it, not around him. And not to whitewash things, Tommy made his choices, not all of them nice or good. But some things in life you just can't predict, and when something goes really wrong, we don't know how to deal with it. Tommy stands at the carriage door, a man who hurts and loves, has a heartbeat and aching feet. Who do you see when you see Tommy? A stranger, a family member, a friend. Or maybe you, or maybe me. Thank you.